Blake Lively has always had a magnetic presence, effortlessly drawing attention wherever she goes. Can you say hi to Stephanie, it's my girlfriend. Hi, Stephanie. Thank you. You so should leave him. <laughs> Lately, she's been making waves for her unexpectedly rude moments in interviews, leaving fans and critics stunned. You've got <laughs> two nice ones. And these, they are kind of bumps, aren't they? No, not bumps. The lovely lady lumps. Check okay. it out. Thank you, thank you. But those are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the unbelievable moments that define her public life. From shocking interactions to unpredictable scenes that no one could have anticipated, Blake's world is full of surprises. Another promise was I no pet monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck has a matching pet monkey with coordinating outfits. And then I got a few of them. <gasps> if these Blake Lively moments were not recorded, no one would believe they actually happened. 15. Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively. Whispers of a rift between Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick first circulated after they co-starred in the 2018 film A Simple Favor. The film's dark comedy premise paired well with the actress's sarcastic humor, but some fans perceived tension in their interviews during the promotional tour. At one point, Anna even went as far as saying that she decided to hate Blake after a scheduling mix-up. And although both laughed about it at the time, this comment sparked theories of real animosity, with some speculating that the humor was a cover for genuine conflict. And it would seem they were right, because there are a couple of moments that capture the whole thing as it is. For example, during one of the interviews, Anna said that when she first met Blake, she thought that her co-star was awesome, but little did she know. And guess what? Blake did nothing but roll her eyes and turned her head away with a sarcastic smile on her face. I met Blake a few times through um, Ryan on that film. Got it. Um, and, you know, and thought she seemed nice, and little did I know. Yeah. Look at the body language experts analyzing this right now. Uh, <laughs> How quickly do you... Out. Don't touch me. <laughs> After the interview, some reports suggested that it was their personality differences that created a rift. Insiders mentioned that Blake, known for her glamour and polished style, and Anna, known for her down-to-earth, often dry humour, didn't fully mesh off-screen. According to some reports, Anna even went as far as saying she's a bully while referring to Blake. Additionally, Blake's close friendship with Taylor Swift reportedly didn't sit well with Anna, who had made her own snarky remarks about the singer in the past. Yet, this is just one of the times that Blake was in the spotlight, often for the wrong reasons. Keep watching, because trust us, if these Blake Lively moments weren't recorded, no one would believe it. 14. Little Lady Lumps In 2016, Blake Lively and her Cafe Society co-star Parker Posey gave an interview that has since gained infamy due to the awkward exchange with Norwegian journalist Kirsti Fla. During the interview, Kirsty congratulated Blake on her little bump since Blake was expecting her second child at the time. This remark led Blake to retort with, congrats on your little bump, which many saw as a sarcastic, body-shaming jab, especially as Kirsty was not pregnant. First of all, congrats on your little bump. Uh, congrats on your little bump. <laughs> what about my bump? <laughs> The tension only escalated when the two shared a side chat about Lady Lumps, leaving Kirsty visibly uncomfortable as she tried to navigate the interview. You've got two nice ones. And these, they are kind of bumps, aren't they? No, not bumps. The lovely Lady Lumps. Check okay. it out. Thank you, thank you. The conversation later turned to the costumes in the film, with Kirsty asking if the actresses enjoyed the outfits. Blake responded by questioning why interviewers focus on women's clothing and whether men would face similar questions, insinuating sexism. While Kirsty clarified that she would ask male actors as well, Parker and Blake seemingly dismissed her, continuing to discuss the male co-star's wardrobes amongst themselves, further sidelining the interviewer. For many viewers, Blake's responses seemed dismissive and condescending as the journalist's questions were not inherently inappropriate or sexist, 
given the context of costume-centered promotions for movies like Café Society. Since Chestry herself shared the interview clip on her YouTube channel, titling it, The Blake Lively Interview That Made Me Want To Quit My Job, reactions have been mixed. Some defended the actress, pointing out the exhaustion that people with that kind of career often feel during repetitive press interviews, while others criticized her for not treating Chesty with basic respect. For the show host, the experience was negative enough to leave her considering her career in journalism. 13. You're more than just a victim. Blake Lively recently shared a message aimed at survivors of domestic abuse and generational trauma tied to her role in the film adaptation of It Ends With Us. In this emotional project, Blake portrays Lily Bloom, a woman entangled in a cycle of love and misuse, stressing the complex dynamics often present in such relationships. During the film's promotional campaign, the actress took a moment to address the personal impact of these experiences, stressing that no one should feel trapped or isolated in such situations. Her comments aimed to encourage survivors, reminding them they are more than just survivors or victims, and that healing and self-belief are attainable steps forward. And what you have done and are doing and will do is so much bigger than anything anyone else can do to you. But maybe no one would believe that she is so clung to the subject if she hadn't also shared sobering statistics on her social media, spotlighting the prevalence of domestic violence affecting millions globally, including one in four women in the U.S. Her message emphasized that recovery is not linear, and for many, recording their stories, whether privately or through advocacy, can be a form of reclaiming their voice and strength. She even included a link to the National Domestic Violence Hotline, advocating for a space of support and believing in every survivor's right to safety and dignity. Her approach, however, sparked mixed reactions. Some saw her tone as compassionate, acknowledging the importance of visibility around such trauma. Others, however, expressed concerns, suggesting that the light-hearted promotional moments might not align with the film's heavy themes, yet Blake and her co-star, Justin Baldoni, have both expressed hope that the film will foster meaningful conversations on the realities of misuse. 12. The Eye Roll In a memorable interview promoting the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 2, America Ferreira's reaction went viral as she rolled her eyes at Blake Lively's discussion about Gossip Girl. And, you know, we, uh, we, we all kind of dated each other, so we have to date more people or each other's parents. And, uh, this incident happened during an interview on Good Day LA, where the co-stars were supposed to focus on their film. However, when the topic shifted to Gossip Girl, a show that had recently launched Blake into stardom, she started enthusiastically discussing it. This vital moment appeared to divert the conversation from their film, prompting America's eye roll, a subtle but pointed reaction that many viewers interpreted as frustration or disinterest. At the time, Gossip Girl was receiving widespread media attention as a glamorous, drama-filled series portraying wealthy New York teens, while America starred in Ugly Betty, which offered a contrasting comedic take on beauty and identity in fashion. America has openly criticized shows like Gossip Girl, arguing that such portrayals could condition us to be mean, a remark that reveals her reservations about the show's impact on young audiences and suggests why she might have reacted during the interview as she did. While fans have revisited this recording over the years, debating America's reaction, some sympathized with her view. Rather than diverting attention to Gossip Girl's themes of rivalry and social status, it would seem that the actresses simply have differing approaches toward fame and storytelling. But after all, would you believe something like this could even happen if it wasn't captured on video? Well, hold your horses because there are more unbelievable moments coming your way. 11. The Mean Girl Laugh 
Blake Lively has faced criticism yet again over a resurfaced interview from 2017 that viewers have described as hard to watch. In this interview, Blake, while promoting her film All I See Is You, appeared dismissive and sarcastic in her responses to the interviewer's questions. One moment that sparked controversy happened when the interviewer asked if her character's role as a blind woman allowed her to feel free to try everything. So do you feel free now to try everything? To try Blake responded with a side eye and laughed, asking, what does that mean? What does Five that years mean? <laughs> a reaction that many felt was overly defensive and condescending. The awkwardness only continued as the actress challenged the interviewer's knowledge of her film, even suggesting a pop quiz after he tried to clarify his question. This tense exchange has reignited discussions about Blake's demeanor in past interviews, as she has faced similar accusations before, such as in 2016 during an interview with Chersti Flaher, where she appeared irritated after a congratulatory comment on her pregnancy. Many viewers have pointed out a pattern in these interactions, describing her behavior as dismissive or mean in tone. This latest criticism has led some fans to question Blake's approach to media interactions, with responses varying widely. While some defend her reactions as honest and grounded, others argue that her responses come across as unnecessarily confrontational. This interview has prompted fresh debate on social media, with some speculating that her reactions may stem from a combination of weariness with repetitive questions and her strong desire for privacy. Blake has not publicly responded to these resurfaced claims, leaving fans divided on whether her behavior was justifiable or truly unprofessional. 10. It Ends With Us Drama During a recent interview promoting It Ends With Us, Blake Lively's humorous and slightly edgy response to a fan-related question left many doing a double-take. When a journalist asked how a fan might approach her in public to discuss the movie's themes, the actress responded with a laugh, suggesting options like asking for her address, phone number, or location share. The moment caught viewers off guard, as her quips sounded almost like a mock suggestion that fans could track her down. While some found the comment lighthearted, others felt it was an unexpectedly sarcastic response to a question meant to stress the sensitive themes of the film, which addresses domestic misuse. Given the gravity of the movie It Ends With Us, based on Colleen Hoover's best-selling novel, some fans believed Blake's tone might have been a little too playful as the movie deals with challenging issues of violence and trauma. However, Blake's fans argued that this moment reflected her signature humor and a desire to set boundaries regarding fan interactions. In any case, the clip quickly circulated online, sparking conversation and making this one of the unforgettable moments from her recent media appearances. 9. Refuses Friendship Bracelet Yet the actress probably sparked the greatest dose of criticism following a fan interaction at the London premiere of It Ends With Us. A fan handed her a pink, beaded friendship bracelet, a nod to her connection with Taylor Swift, who has made similar bracelets popular among her fans. While Blake graciously thanked the fan, she then remarked, I'm going to put it here because it doesn't go with my outfit, but I will wear it later, before setting the bracelet aside. Her comment quickly went viral on TikTok, drawing a wave of reactions from fans who perceived it as another act of her mean girl behavior. Adding to the drama, Blake's co-star Isabella Ferrer also received a bracelet from the same fan and promptly put it on, thanking the fan with enthusiasm. Some fans felt Blake's statement about her outfit seemed like an excuse, especially since the bracelet's colors matched her dress and accessories. This incident has fueled ongoing debates about the actress's attitude during the press tour for this movie, where she has, as I have said, also been criticized for allegedly deflecting focus from the film's sensitive themes. Unbelievable, right? 8. She did what? 
At the New York premiere of It Ends With Us, Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds shared a light-hearted red carpet moment that no one would believe even happened if it weren't recorded. As the couple mingled with the crowd, Blake was caught on camera casually grabbing Ryan's backside as she passed him. The moment, which was captured and shared widely on social media, became an instant hit, with fans amused by the couple's playful dynamic. Ryan, unfazed by his wife's cheeky gesture, continued his conversation with Deadpool co-star Hugh Jackman and his mother, not even flinching as Blake gave him the playful squeeze. Fans flooded the comments sections with reactions, noting the couple's effortless chemistry and how Ryan didn't react, hinting that moments like these might be common between them. Some fans even declared that their relationship serves as couple goals, admiring their blend of romance and humor during high-profile events. Throughout the night, Blake and Ryan were affectionate, posing together, holding hands and sharing laughs. Blake, who has been going through a media-heavy press tour for It Ends With Us, described her husband's support as the best, adding that his presence helped her feel grounded amidst the event's excitement. This brief yet memorable interaction only added to the event's charm, showing that even in the spotlight, the two aren't afraid to be themselves and enjoy light-hearted moments with each other. 7. Ridiculously Expensive Jeans the actress also turned heads with her fashion choices while promoting her film, It Ends With Us. At a surprise screening event in Texas, she wore an extravagant pair of Valentino jeans with a jaw-dropping price tag of $19,000. These jeans, adorned with intricate floral cutouts along the legs, made a statement not only for their high fashion appeal, but also for their nod to her sisterhood of the traveling pants days which she referenced humorously on her Instagram. She captioned a post, joking about the jeans being the real star of the event, creating a playful connection to her role in the early 2000s franchise about a shared pair of jeans among close friends. Despite the simplicity of her pairing, a white tank top and denim heels, her Valentino jeans quickly became a major talking point sparking conversations online about fashion, celebrity influence, and price tags in Hollywood. While some fans and even co-workers admired her ability to elevate denim into couture, others questioned the practicality of such a lavish purchase for jeans. Blake's red carpet fashion choice, which some fans saw as impractical yet quintessentially Hollywood, reflects her role as both a style icon and a playful public figure. Her expensive choice, believe it or not, even outshone her co-star's simpler denim looks, reaffirming her reputation for creating buzzworthy fashion moments wherever she goes. 6. Weird Floral Suit Speaking of her fashion choices, Blake Lively recently made headlines for her bold move at the Chanel Tribeca Festival Artists Dinner, where she wore a vibrant floral suit from Chanel's Spring-Summer 2024 collection. The oversized outfit featured a double-breasted jacket adorned with multicolored floral prints and the iconic Chanel logo paired with matching flared pants. While some fans praised her daring maximalist style, others thought the ensemble looked like high-end pajamas, leading to playful comparisons on social media. Some fans even joked that she appeared to have snuck out of a pajama party, while others appreciated the way she mixed comfort with luxury for the event. The pajama-like suit was complemented by Blake's signature voluminous waves and minimal makeup that emphasized a rosy pink hue to match her outfit. Her accessories included statement rings and stud earrings, enhancing the luxe yet relaxed vibe of her look. This outfit clearly showed that this actress has a knack for pushing fashion boundaries, especially with her Chanel-inspired take on what some called power pajamas, blending formal structure with playful patterns. As a style icon known for taking risks, her choice sparked discussion on fashion forums, where fans debated the line between chic and overly casual evening wear. But unbelievable as it could be, Blake's fashion moment at the Chanel dinner also marks her continued collaboration with the brand, 
where she's frequently chosen Chanel pieces for high-profile appearances. This playful yet high fashion look continues to add to her reputation as a star unafraid to challenge style norms and make memorable fashion statements, and we can't wait to see her next choice of attire. 5. Weird Answers 73 Questions interview with Vogue from 2014 has recently resurfaced, sparking online backlash over Blake's unexpected response to one particular question. When asked which movie made her laugh the hardest, the actress replied, The Shawshank Redemption. The movie you laughed the hardest through. Shawshank Redemption. A 1994 film known for its powerful themes of hope and resilience set against the grim backdrop of wrongful imprisonment. While her answer elicited a laugh from the interviewer, viewers found the comment confusing and disrespectful given the film's somber subject matter. Many fans criticized Blake for her seemingly flippant answer, with some speculating that she was trying to be humorous or sarcastic, but missed the mark. The internet reaction included users who labeled her response as pretentious or cringe, noting that her humor didn't fit the tone of the question. Some even suggested that her attempt to joke in the style of her husband, Ryan Reynolds, fell flat and came off as insincere. Critics pointed out that the film's serious story makes it an odd choice for a laugh, and the moment quickly became fodder for viral debate on platforms like TikTok and Reddit, with many people saying that they wouldn't even believe she said something like that if it weren't captured on video. 4. Has a crush on Salma Hayek the Gossip Girl actress's admiration for Salma Hayek, her co-star in the 2012 film Savages, became a topic of conversation during press interviews, where she openly called Salma her girl crush. In the movie, Blake plays a young woman entangled in the dangerous world of a Mexican cartel led by Salma's character. Although their roles in the movie depict tension off-screen, the two actresses developed a close bond. Blake admired Salma's elegance and strength even confessing that she was inspired by her bold fashion choices and fierce presence. Blake even jokingly referred to Sama as the love of her life, hinting at the admiration she felt working alongside her seasoned co-star. Their chemistry both on and off set brought a unique depth to their performances, especially given the intensity of the story. Sama returned this admiration, noting how she valued Blake's friendship and her vibrant energy. In interviews, Salma shared that they shared fun, light-hearted moments, which made the otherwise dark storyline of Savages more enjoyable for both of them. Who would have thought that they would be so close, right? 3. Pet Monkey And do you remember that old clip from a 2008 Gossip Girl panel at Paley Fest showing her jokingly referring to her co-stars as monkeys? During the discussion, Blake was describing the conditions that convinced her to join the show, mentioning a promise that she wouldn't have to act with a pet monkey, a reference to the original book's storyline. Anna. It was the, another promise was I no pet monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck has a matching pet monkey with coordinating outfits, and I was like, I would love to be part of the show, but I can't act with a monkey. <laughs> she then quipped that instead, she got a few of them gesturing toward her co-stars. While the audience laughed, Blake's castmates, including Leighton Meester and Penn Badgley, appeared less amused, with some looking visibly uncomfortable. The resurfacing of this remark has sparked new criticism, with social media users describing it as insensitive and noting how her humor missed the mark. Some fans on TikTok even speculated that the comment might have contributed to tension on set, as Blake and Leighton were whispered to have had a distant relationship throughout the series' run. But to be fair, the recording has gained such traction, partly due to the timing. Blake has been under increased media scrutiny recently while promoting her film, It Ends With Us. With other resurfaced interviews and reports of a rumored rift with her current co-star, Justin Baldoni, this old panel moment has only added to the ongoing discourse about her professional relationships and public persona. 2. The joke that didn't land well 
Blake's humor also stirred some reactions during her time on Gossip Girl, specifically for a comment made in an interview where she joked that everyone knows blondes are nicer. This quip came during a playful exchange between her and her brunette co-star, Leighton Meester, who played Blair Waldorf, the iconic counterpart to Blake's Serena Van de Woodson. In the conversation, Leighton hinted at her character's hair color in the show, which then led Blake to interject with her light-hearted remark about blondes. The joke was met with mixed reactions. Some fans found it funny, while others noted the moment felt awkward as her co-star gave Blake a side eye in response. A few of them. <laughs> Come on, it was a joke. Lord have mercy. Fans on social media noted that such comments may have contributed to perceptions of tension between the two actresses, whose personalities and interactions were often scrutinized during and after the show's six-season run. Though the two maintained a professional relationship, moments like this have fueled ongoing theories about their real-life dynamic, and we can only hope that more recordings of this period will come to light and show us exactly what was going on. 1. Reaction to Ryan's Surprise Finally, Blake Lively's recent reaction to Ryan Reynolds' surprise during a shared appearance with radio host Kemi Rogers had fans in stitches, proving once again why they're Hollywood's most beloved couple. The moment took place when Ryan surprised Blake on air, popping into her interview with Kemi to share a humorous message. Blake's reaction was a mix of genuine surprise and laughter as she playfully responded to her husband's light-hearted antics. Her response made the surprise all the more charming and authentic, a reminder of their easygoing dynamic that fans adore. Seriously, Thanks. you're at my house crying non-stop. Please I, come back. I, I can't what? kiss him anymore. I can't pretend to be you anymore. <laughs> I just can't. I'm trying, but it's just... So His basement is so scary. Yeah, it is. <laughs> This genuine moment quickly went viral, with fans commenting on social media that if this wasn't recorded, no one would believe how amazing they are together. The spontaneous exchange stressed the genuine connection between the couple, showing how they seamlessly balance humor with warmth in their relationship. Their lively interaction on the show also illustrated how the couple's humor and affection continue to captivate audiences, offering a refreshing break from Hollywood's usual formalities. Moments like this, where they blend public appearances with personal, unscripted interactions, add to their reputation as a relatable and down-to-earth celebrity duo. The fans' enthusiastic reactions across social media only reaffirm the ongoing love for this duo, as they manage to keep things light, even in professional settings. So finally, which of these Blake Lively moments was the best and which was the worst in your opinion? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more.